to Makeup by Mon. I'm gonna be doing an empties video today. I have a giant bag of stuff I have been holding on to. So let's get started. I had so much stuff it wouldn't even fit in the bag. Um, the first thing is this simple moisturizing face wash. I've, I think I've had an empties of this before. It's great. It's like five or six bucks. You can get it at CVS, you can get it at Walgreens, you can get it at Ulta, you can get it at Walmart. You can basically find it anywhere. All of the simple products I've ever tried are bomb.com. So if you're in the market for a really gentle face wash, uh, it's like foaming. It comes out clear, so it's not exfoliating or anything like that. It's just very gentle. I used it every day in the shower. Really, really liked it. I finished a Bath and Body Works Beautiful Day Body Wash. Will I repurchase? No. You've heard my spiel before on Bath and Body Works um, body washes. I'm not like super picky. The only reason I ever use these is if I've gotten them as gifts from like my students or my family, which I love, but I just cannot validate spending that much on a body wash. I'm happy just using whatever. I'm not super picky about that. Um, but this one did smell really, really good. It says it's wild daisies pink peony and creamy musk it smelled delightful i really liked it and i literally used it till the end i finished two candles um so this is by a brand it's called the wicked bohem and it's the truvidale um candle i got this while i was in california at like a mini farmer's market my friends and i went to it smelled super good it claimed it had a 65 hour burn um it was like a handcrafted candle by this girl who happened to be originally from Houston, which is where I'm from. We talked about it, it was so funny. Such a coincidence. This candle was like 25 or $35, so will I repurchase? No, it smelled amazing, but I'm just as content with my three wick bath and body work candles that I use a coupon on and get for two for 22. So no, I will not repurchase. Um, I finished this tiny little, um, one wick candle for Math and Body Works, Malibu Smash. I don't even think they make the scent anymore. It came in like a little trio pack with like a lotion and a body spray and this. It smells really, really good. It's very summery. I don't even think they make it anymore. So I did a Sephora pomegranate mask. I've been really into masks lately, trying them all out, samples of them, starting to buy them. I really am on a kick of making sure my skin is as great as it can be. Um, and so I loved this one. I'm a big advocate for the Sephora masks. I think that they come in a lot of different scents, a lot of different benefits. Um, I already have a few more that I've purchased of these, so yes. I finished this Algenist melt off cleanser the genius melt off cleanser this came in one of the sephora favorite packs it was it's great it like you, you don't put it on your skin if your skin's wet you put it on when it's dry and it like literally like melts your makeup off like liquid uh, i already have another one of these in the same size so i will not repurchase because i already have one i finished a travel size endless weekend bath and body works body wash i love this scent it is amazing. I do really, really like this one. Typically when I have my like free coupons for a travel size item, I always get Endless Weekend because it just, it smells like the summer. So if you're in the market for a scent that's, that like will make you feel like the season, this is it. I finished a Smashbox Photo Finish Primer Water. I like literally finished the entire thing. There was just a little bit left and it would not come out of the pump top. So I poured what was left in my travel size of this um, because I didn't want to waste it because it's like 26 bucks. Uh, I already have another one, so I've raved about it before. We finished a Fiji White Sands Bath and Body Works soap. I like this scent. It was very light, really, really nice. I liked it. I'm not picky though with my scents. I will repurchase these soaps though because my husband and I were all about those soaps because they, um, they're foaming but they don't get stuff everywhere. They don't have the little beads. I finished this Skin Timits Shave Gel in the color Melon Burst. I can't even tell you how old this is. Um, I just have had it in my shower and I finally finished it. But man, this shave, this shaving gel is like bomb. It's really, really good. I will definitely repurchase it. I don't even know if they make the scent anymore, but this is bomb. I finished another Sephora mask. This one is one of their eye masks. It was the rose one. It's for ultra hydration. Um, it really did what it said. I already have another one. I finished a nourishing coconut milk shampoo. I had used this a while back and then I got on my kick with my Redken shampoo and just hadn't used it as much. 
Um, but really, really liked it, and I, I bought the coconut water one, so I'll be using that one once I finish my Redkins. I also finished a Redkin Pillow Talk, or Pillow Proof blow dry spray i put this in i don't actually blow dry my hair like really ever but i always put it in whenever i air dry my hair just because um i feel like it gives it extra protection and it works really well with my diamond oil i already repurchased that i also finished a tarte lights camera lashes mascara i love this mascara i already have like two of the smaller size ones um the only thing that happened with this one is that it got really really clumpy like i couldn't even get it in because it got so clumpy at the ends so i had to throw it away prior to like hitting the three month mark which sucks i um, am getting rid of this little elf stipple brush just because i have so many of them it's really small i wasn't ever like a giant fan because i felt like it was a really oblong shape so i'm getting rid of that also getting rid of this elf it's a eye brush it's like a really weird pencil brush it didn't ever actually do much because it was so um like it just did not have good flexibility i guess that's what you would say so that's getting thrown away my husband loves when i do empties videos because this sits in our bathroom for like months on end until i fill it all the way and it's like just basically trash he's like just throw it away i'm like no i'm doing a video like chill out I finished a mini Benefit Roller Lash. I love this mascara, it's fantastic. Um, will I repurchase? Probably, but I have a few that I uh, wanna try from Essence that I'll be doing first before I do this. I finished a London Tea Time, no, Tea and Lemon, three wick candle from Bath and Body Works. It's, it smells like, like iced tea, and I am an avid iced tea fan. Um, it's part of their like uh, country collection where they have like Amsterdam, they have Paris, they have New York, they have all different places and cities and the smells that smell like those cities or I guess what they think those cities smell like. And it just took me back to London because my husband and I went this past December. So I got it mainly because of that and because it has Big Ben on the front, which I love. So I'll probably repurchase this one, I really liked it. Uh, I'm getting rid of this Clinique Baby Lips. It was in my makeup bag in my purse and I just literally never used it ever um and I feel like it's old also finished this secret deodorant so this was in the Brazil rainforest mist omg it smells amazing I can't even take it out it smells amazing it kind of has like a little bit of a man scent to it like kind of musky so if you're into that you would love this but it's a woman's deodorant but it just smells really really cool and refreshing not florally so i loved this um i already have another one though that i had i purchased two at the same time so i got that one twice i finished a crest 3d luxe toothpaste i've raved about this before i've had this in almost every empty this is the one that i use those are my pearly whites uh i love 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 this toothpaste love it it's fantastic finished a makeup forever step one primer this is the hydrating one it it like literally feels like water on your skin i will not repurchase because i just recently repurchased Too faced hangover rx and it has a very similar feel to it it's very um water based and that's what it feels like so i will not repurchase this till i run out of my hangover rx because i feel like they're very similar i also am throwing away a real techniques um this is their dupe of the beauty blender uh, after a certain amount of months you need to throw them away just for sanitary reasons so the last few things are like small sample sizes so i finished up this origins drink up intensive overnight mask that's exactly why i bought the big size version of it I'm throwing away this little tiny Tarte Kabuki brush. Not even, it came with like, you're supposed to like use it to contour. It's so tiny, nobody has hands that small. Like it's for like a baby doll, I'm not gonna use that. No, and it just took up room in my stuff. I finished an Elizabeth and James uh, Black Nirvana little sample. It had a spray top, I love it. I, already, I have the roller ball, I have like two roller balls. I also finished a Bath & Body Works one with candle Bergemont Woods. I love that scent. We have come to the end. So thank you so much for watching. If you like what you see, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. What have you finished lately? Um, let me know if you wanna see anything in particular. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye. I've been really
really into pomegranate masks. Uh, not pomegranate masks. Blah, blah, blah. A tart lights. Uh, lemony, lemony, lemony. Um, 